What is up all? It is time to shake up your fall and winter routine with these 10 sexy hot tips because winter is here. It's not like winter is coming, which I guess technically that's true, but the way it feels like in most parts of the world right now, winter is here. And ready for the red carpet writer, Christina Fleck has some awesome tips for you that I am going to tell you about right now. All right, so you ready? She's got 10 of them. So let's start with number one. Now, these are tips that will help you stay on track while still having fun and not not allowing yourself to feel deprived of anything in order to hold on to your beauty, sexiness, health, without letting it all go to hell simply because there's sugary cookies in front of you and the air is all dry. All right? Tip number one. When you are running out the door, before you grab your wallet and keys or your handbag and keys, fill up your water bottle and put a squeeze of lemon in it, which will help realkalinize your system and best of all, helps rid your system of sugar cravings as you're drinking water. Because most of the time when you think you're hungry, very often you're just incredibly dehydrated. So keep some water with you with a little lemon juice in it at all times. Tip number two. All right. So I know that pumpkin lattes taste like heaven on earth, but try a pumpkin tea or a regular chai with no sugar. All right. So uh, the more sugar you eat, the more you're going to crave and the more you're going to want to eat more. And then the more you're going to crave and the more you're going to want to eat more. So uh, I know Christina tells herself at the beginning of each season that she will enjoy one amazing sugary latte and then it's back to tea with no sugar in it whatsoever and something i've actually started doing is i started putting raw baking coda co- baking cocoa in an espresso machine uh instead of coffee and it comes all out this even though it's unsweetened it comes out this amazing chocolatey awesomeness this hot chocolate drink that doesn't need any sweetener like it tastes really good as is i mean i flatten it with milk or soy milk but uh you know, you could totally drink it straight and it's awesome. All right. Uh, tip number three. All right. So when the weather is chilly and it's tough to go to the gym, when we feel really cold, try a hot yoga class. All right. So the hot room feels really good on your tight muscles and it clears your pores with good sweat and your body will get a deep stretch and, and everything you need for the winter season. All right. So changing up your workout routines during the winter months really helps keeps the boredom away and will keep you from skipping your much needed workouts. All right. Tip number four. All right. All right. So Christina says that her favorite part of getting into bed at night is slathering up her hands and feet with coconut oil and putting on her socks to keep the oils on her feet and not on the sheets. All right, so massaging your feet before bed will help you sleep soundly. It'll help with depression. It helps with blood circulation. It helps, uh, you know, all, so- all sorts of things, right? And me personally, I like, I like peppermint essential oil and then coconut oil on top of that. Coconut oil is just awesome. It's just, it's so, it's so great. I I totally just dabbed some, I mix a little peppermint oil into it because I don't know, I I dig that, right? So it's really great for relaxing after a long day and it'll actually help you fall asleep faster as well. All right. Tip number five, make green juice in the morning before bed, which is, which is ever easier for you, right? You can add to your blender orange juice, Apple juice, and obviously the Anabot favorite, coconut water. All right, make sure you sing the Anabot coconut water song as uh, as all this is going on, by the way. All right, tip number six, more coconut oil. Leave a jar of coconut oil in the shower with you to rub on your skin uh, before you right before you get out. It really saves time uh, of putting it on while you're still wet and actually helps you not have to ultra, you know, towel yourself off in an aggressive manner. Tip number seven, just because it's raining or snowing or overcast, you still need to put some sunscreen on your face, neck, chest, and the top of your hands. All right. Uh, There's still UV rays coming out. Tip number eight, if you're exfoliating, cut back to two to three times a week. I'm totally guilty of this because people uh, send me these awesome products that I just, I love using them and I, you know, you you tend to over exfoliate, which is just not needed in the winter. And uh, hot showers especially can strip you of your skin oils and cause itching and discomfort and, and flaking. And so try a warm or even cold shower if you can handle it. 
and uh, and that'll do you some good, all right? And cut back on the exfoliation. Tip number nine. So fall and winter are the best time to try new hair colors for those of you that mess with your hair color. So a trim after all the sun and summer months will keep your locks healthy. And switching to a golden honey or brown hair color may add a bit of excitement uh, and it will last much longer without fading or turning brassy. Uh, personally, tr- I'd actually try to avoid doing any hair dyeing whatsoever. Just let the hair grow through. Now, obviously, publicists and TV stations and photographers don't let me get away with that for too long. Uh, you know, November. Uh, I, I'm actually going to get away with this Latin Grammy and AMA month without dyeing my hair. So far, so far, nobody's noticed, even though I've got this whole Fantastic Four Reese gray sides thing going on so far people have been letting me get away with it i don't know if i'm going to get away with it through the whole winter because you know once january uh kicks in and all those awards kick in uh people are going to talk me into dyeing my hair i'm sure of it but uh for those of you who actually like dyeing your hair now's the time to do it and tip number 10 plan something with a friend you haven't seen in a while sharing a memory is better than a gift all right so harvest festivals museum exhibits Hikes to see the change of the seasons, afternoon of crafts, uh, workout with new trainers, or just kind of hang out. Happiness and laughter are what make us feel awesome on the inside, and it shows in our face to the world. All right, so if you want to read more from Christina, Christina is actually a cel- celebrity uh, makeup and hair artist and CEO of Pretty Girl Makeup. If you want to see more of her tips and more of my tips, definitely head off to the Ready for the Red Carpet blog or subscribe to this channel. All right, love you guys. So just in case you didn't know yet, you are listening to Latindian Style, the podcast. And I'm your host, Anand Bhatt, tu Latindio. So keep listening. We're going to have some fun. What is up, guys? It is dry winter skin moisturizers time. Again, it is winter time. And ready for the red carpet writer, Mary Thompson has some awesome products that she has reviewed, and we are going to reveal them right here. Now, once again, you can get all these products at, uh, there should be links in the description, or definitely visit the Ready for the Red Carpet blog, and subscribe to this channel, of course, for more updates. All right? So... Here is what Mary recommends. She recommends a Time Bomb Powerball Intensive Moisturizer. Now, it is an unassuming white container, and the package may not have a lot of pizzazz, but it has 21 intensive moisturizers within it. Uh, Ectoin is a protein which locks in skin's moisture, and it's pretty expensive, but it'll work. Uh, So... You definitely want to check that out. Now, the link to that might not be in this description since, uh, you know, we we work – the blog either works on a an affiliate commission or a sponsored or something that we just care to recommend that's readily available. This time bomb is not readily available in a lot of places, and I'm pretty pro Amazon. So a lot of the times you're going to get Amazon uh, recommendations. Anything, anywhere in the world, somebody can just get and get delivered to their door pretty easily if not walking into a store. But Amazon is awesome, right? All right, so the next one Mary recommends is Clinique Moisture Surge Melting Mask Bob. That is a mouthful. All right, so this is another one of those products whose benefits outweigh the price, right? It may, for some of you, it may look pretty expensive. For those of you who are actually, uh, you know, moisturizing to prepare for photo shoots and red carpets, it's nothing you're not yet used to uh, price wise. It actually might be less than what you're normally spending. All right, so. Not many realize the amount of dryness that skin can actually accumulate at night when you're sleeping, which brings into question the validity of the phrase beauty sleep, right? However, just a thin layer of this moisture boosting mask applied to the skin before bedtime on nights when skin truly needs a moisture boost will leave it feeling soft and supple the next morning. All right, so could anything else have been expected to come from its key ingredients, which are apricot and macadamia oil? Awesome stuff, right? So again, Clinique Moisture Surge Melting Mask Balm. All right, hard to say, easy to buy. All right, the next one, Oral Gold Cosmetics. Man, the first time I got introduced to Oral Gold was actually a hair product, I believe, in uh, in a salon in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming. 
All right. So uh, I was I was almost going to endorse this product, right? Uh, they, they they didn't get their shit together in terms of landing an endorsement, but we're recommending their Oracle Cosmetics line anyway, uh, whether I'm getting paid for it or not, simply because it's awesome. So uh, Mary has tried this out. And uh, she recommends the White Gold 24K Deep Moisturizer for Face. I don't know why beauty products have these long tail, huge titles. I guess they have to be descriptive, right? So it's hard to ignore the price again, which comes along with this product, given that it's practically spelled out in its very name. However, given the intensive moisturizing benefits combined with highly potent anti-aging properties, this product does the job of many. Okay, so it is it is a catch all. It's 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 pretty awesome. It is it is a pretty great deal there. All right, so it's quite apparent that this small jar does pack a hefty price, though. If you factor in the fact that it's a day cream and night cream and anti aging all rolled into one, it's it's more palatable. Actually, you might actually save money since it's kind of these three things at once. All right, and the next and last product we are recommending today is Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask, and that's. It's full of natural ingredients, it's a facial mask, and it's everything you need in one mask, all right? And it's great for delicate skin as well. It's got apples, oatmeal, ginger root, coconut oil, my favorite, all right? A whole smorgasbord of skincare goodness, all right? So, perhaps letting Jack Frost steal a kiss in the middle of the night might not be such a bad idea if... Even with the frostiest of nastiness during the winter, you can protect yourself with these moisturizers, okay? And once again, subscribe to this channel. Check out Ready for the Red Carpet blog. And if you want any of these project products, check, uh, check the description below or the blog. There should be links to help you out. All right. Love you guys. On in the... Romeo Santos handles Nicole, Tiffany Diaz, and Roxanne, and the aftermath of Carrie Fisher. So how does Romeo Santos handle the cold? Romeo Santos, CEO of Rock Nation Latin, but better known as the King of Bachata, rocks the cold all bundled up from head to toe, as you can see from his winter Instagram pics. Only his eyes are really showing in one of these pics. It's like a stylish Dominican burka, all right? But there is some practicality to this outfit. The, you know, uh, there's a picture on Instagram of uh, Romeo Santos and it's a couple years old, so you'll have to scroll through his Instagram feed. And it was taken at Six Flags, where Romeo wanted to enjoy some rides without getting mauled by fans. So, albeit super warm looking, that outfit served to allow him to head out incognito. So let's go to Tiffany Theason. I love how Tiffany goes from being the hot girl on Saved by the Bell when we were kids to model wife character on White Collar to foodie guru with her cooking channel show, Dinner at Tiffany's, and now a celebrity curator for a brand called Love With Food. Now, Love With Food is a monthly food subscription service whose percentage of proceeds go to helping food banks and help fight childhood hunger. All right, so... Uh, Tiffany's box comes with all sorts of snack and goodies from, you know, bark thins to organic mac and cheese. And I know you're not supposed to eat them all in one sitting, but, you know, hey, I worked out today. But let's talk about the aftermath of Carrie Fisher. All right, so this was a post from the day Carrie Fisher died. It says, today the world mourns Carrie Fisher, just shortly having to get to see her in Rogue One. Her famous mother, Debbie Reynolds, died shortly after. Now, Fisher, who was 60 years old, was flying from London to Los Angeles when she had a heart attack on the plane. She was rushed to the hospital and all thought she would pull through, but she died. So, I'm sure I speak on behalf of all my readers and fans when I say, we love you both, Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds, and our hearts go out to you. All right. Now, as usual, please do check out my artist profile on Spotify. Follow and let me know what you think. I look forward to hanging out with you again. Love you guys.